praise the Lord, everybody. I was glad. I was glad when they said it to me. Let's go into the house of the Lord. I know I said it last week, and I'm going to continue to say it. Because by the grace of God, we all made it through another day's journey. But we're still here. I want to welcome you all to a little of the Baptist Church. All of you out on Facebook that are watching, and all that are present. Right now, we're we'll turning the services over to the deacons. Yeah. 
behind us. We're so happy, Father, ask you, Father, to bless those, Father, that sick and shut in this morning. Those that have the virus, those that have other issues that's in the hospital. And, Father, bless those, Father, that don't know that the part of our sins are in Father. Father, for those that's in the nursing home, yeah. friends, Father, Father, for all the young people that's trying to get ready to go back to school. Father, I pray and ask you, Father, to bless the leadership and give them the knowledge and the wisdom, Father, that they might do what is the best and the right thing, Father. Yeah, yeah. Then, Father, I pray for every church door that's kind of joined in your name this morning. Yeah, yeah. Father, for those that, Father, that have a desire to be in the hospital this morning, bless them, Father. Then, Father, help us to realize, Father, that no problem is too small. No problem is too hard for you, oh, Heavenly Father. For you set high and look, Lord, you God all by yourself, Heavenly Father. Yeah. Then, Father, I just pray, oh, Heavenly Father, that you just continue to bless us. Bless us in this service this morning, Father, that there may be a service that you would have today. Heavenly Father, I just pray and ask you, Father, to bless and keep Now, Father, when it's all down, so you're the call. All praying days is over. Ask you, Father, just to give us a blessing place somewhere in that kingdom. Just pray in the name of Christ Jesus, I pray. Amen. 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 This is a devotion.
we thank you right now. We have this hour. We're here at, at the church to serve you. We come to serve you with gladness and all our hearts find it so. And we pray that we continue to keep praying. Keep praying for the world. Keep praying that everything is going to be all right. In the name of Jesus. All this we pray for your darling son, Jesus. We thank you, Lord Jesus. Touch our pastor, Lord. Touch all the churches. Touch all the pastors around the world. Touch all the saints. Touch everybody, Lord. In the name of Jesus. All this we pray for your darling son, Jesus. We say it. Thank God. Amen. 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 received of the Lord that which also I delivered unto you, that the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread.
to get better. Sacrifices of joy 
I will sing, yeah, I will sing praises yeah. unto yeah. the Lord. Yeah. David, amen, was filled with praise, thank, yeah. thanksgiving, and you know, yeah. for, for all that God has done in his life. Yeah. Yeah. I want you to look at how David responded, amen, to the trouble in his life and consider praising God yeah. at difficult times. Y'all gonna pray with me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let us begin by examining the fact, uh, a fact that we must first of all comprehend the personality of God. Yes, comprehend yes. the personality of God. David, a man, was a man who walked with the Lord. Mm -hmm. He described as a man after God's own heart. Yes. Listen, the longer you know someone. Yes. And, and the more time you spend with them, the more you learn about their personality. Sometimes it's a, a good thing, sometimes not so much. However, the longer you walk, this is what I'm saying, with the Lord, and the more time you spend with him, the more you will learn about him. Amen. And this is always a good thing. When you begin to recognize and understand that many attributes of God's personality, you will become more and more confident yes. in his ability. All right. Amen. When you have confidence in the Lord, you'll be able to trust him even in the tough times of life. Yes. David, amen, here, David here declared about the personality of God in Psalm 27, 1 through 3. He described the Lord as my light, yes. my salvation and the strength of my life. Yeah, yeah. Though trouble surrounded him, he knew that he was not in darkness because the Lord was his light. Yeah. Amen. Though dark danger was all around him, David knew that the Lord was his salvation. Yeah, yeah. Amen. He trusted, amen, in the Lord would deliver him from his enemy. David, amen, confidence came from the fact Amen. That the Lord had delivered him in the past. Yeah, yeah. He was confident that God would deliver him from his current situation. Yeah. And David could trust that the Lord would deliver him in the future. Yeah. Listen here, brothers and sisters. As God's children, we can and should have the same kind of confidence like David had. Right. Not only is Jesus our light and our salvation, yeah, yeah. he is the strength of our life. Think about that for a moment. He is the strength of our life. Amen. David David was known as being a great warrior. Amen. He not only slew the great giant Goliath, but he had been, he had been many noticed victories in the Bible against the Philistine. Even, even with, with his skills and personal ability, David looked to the Lord as the strength of his life. Yeah. Amen. I believe, I believe that this was the secret to David's success in the battle. Though he was skilled and strong, he trusted in the Lord to secure victory. Yeah. Let me hear you say victory. Yeah. David knew that God was, was far stronger than he was. Yeah. In yeah. Ephesians 6 and 10, Paul says, my brother, be strong yeah. in the Lord yeah. in the, and in the power of his might. Yeah, yeah. Amen. Notice that in verse 1, David said, of whom shall I be afraid? Yeah, yeah. There was no reason for David to fear his enemy. There was no reason for him to fear his circumstances. And there was no reason for him to fear anything because the Lord was on his side. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's something to shout about. You know, the Lord is on your side. Yeah, yeah. Amen. He, he, how can you offer praise even a difficult day Amen. By start by comprehending the personality of God. Yes. If we know the personality of God, we can face anything Amen. that comes our way. Yes. The second, the second thing we see that we must do is seek the presence of God. Yes. Seek the presence yes. of God. Come from verse number four. Seek the presence of God. David did not just live off the past victory. He didn't just spend his time reflecting on what God had done for him. Yeah, yeah. He continued to seek the Lord. Yes, 
He said, I will seek after the Lord that I may dwell in the house all the days of my life. In this passage, David indicated that he had, he desired to live in the tabernacle itself. Amen. So that he could be surrounded by the presence of God, not one day, but daily. He stated that he desired to, was to behold the beauty of the Lord. Yeah, yeah. Understand that he was not referring to the glory of the temple, for it did not yet exist. Yeah. At this point in time, Israel temple was the tabernacle, which was, which was a little more than a tent. All right, all right. This proved that it was not an earthly structure, uh -huh. nor a contents that they belong for. Yeah, yeah. This is, it was the beauty of the Lord that he was fascinated with. Right, yeah. He longed for the sweetness yeah. of the Lord's presence. Yeah. David also stated that he wanted to inquire in his temple. Yeah, yeah. Amen. He knew that when he was in, in the presence of the Lord, he could make his request known yeah. unto him. Yeah. Amen. And, and that is exactly what he does in that part of Psalms 27. Amen. He, he seek the presence of the Lord. Yes. And I like David because he seek the presence of the Lord with things were going bad in his life mm -hmm. as well as things are going good in his life. Yes. So a lot of folks don't seek the presence of God until they go through a storm in life. Yes. But it's good to seek God, amen, at all times. Yes. And David said, I want to be in the presence of the Lord in all of my problems and yes. all of my trouble. Yes. I don't know about you, but trouble will come your way. If trouble haven't came your way, just keep on living. The third thing I want to share with you, amen, amen, is rest in the protection of God. Rest in the prote protection of God. Here David revealed one of the, of the many blessings of seeking the Lord with all your heart. He confidently stated that in the midst of trouble, God would hide me in his pavilion. There is no indication, amen, anywhere in the Bible that God's children are to be exempt from trouble in this life. But when we walk with the Lord, we can trust him to protect us. And then we find comfort and rest even in the worst of times. Listen here, brothers and sisters, he is our refuge. In time of trouble. Yeah, yeah. Amen. When 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 it's dark, he is our light. Yeah, yeah. When, when, when we are weak, he is our strength. Yeah, yeah. When the very darts of the wicked comes our way, he is our shield. Yeah. Amen. When the enemy pursues us, he is our refuge. Y'all right, right. gonna pray? Yeah. There's much hope, yeah. amen, to be found in Psalms. As children of God, we can claim. Uh, this promise that David spoke of in the verse. We can say the Lord is our light and our salvation. Amen. We have no need to fear anyone or anything in this life. The Lord is the strength of my life. When our enemy comes upon us, they will stumble and fall. We have the opportunity, amen, to dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of our lives. Yeah. Man, we are able to behold the beauty of the Lord. Yeah. We are able to inquire of him yeah. and make our requests known. Right. Listen, in times of trouble, yeah. he is our refuge. Yeah. We can trust him to hide us yeah. and protect us. Yeah. He will set our feet upon a rock and he will lift us up our heads amen even on the most difficult days Lord have mercy however in order for us to have this comforting claim this promise and experience the blessing we must do as David did and seek the Lord for ourselves yeah Lord if we will do this We'll be able to praise him even in difficult.
no time. We can and should offer praises to our God. Yeah, Lord, even when we are in the midst of a storm in this life, we can do so if we will comprehend the personality of God, seek the presence of God, rest, amen, in the protection of God. God
this should be very prayerful. Amen. Pray that God will forgive you for all your many sins. Amen. Because we all have sin and come short of the glory of God. Amen. As we ask Mr. Abram to read for us, and that's what a deacon to come and we'll give us a prayer. observe the ordinance of the Lord's Supper, given to us to celebrate in the memory of his broken body and shed blood. It is said that on the night before he was betrayed, at the conclusion of the feast of the Passover, which he and his disciples were celebrating, he took bread and had you blessed it, baked it, and gave to his disciples, and said, this is my body, which is given for you. Same night, our Lord took the cup and having blessed it, gave it to his disciples and said, This is my blood which was shed for you. Drink ye. The Bible says, Often we eat of the bread and drink of this cup and proclaim the death till he come. Before we dismiss service, I want you to say thank you all for uh, tuning in this morning. Thank you for all your blessings. We ask you and encourage you to continue to pray for one another. Amen. Call one another. Talk with one another. Amen. Amen. And bless one another. I also want to say thank you for what you have been doing and your giving. Doing well. We have fallen a little bit short on last month, but we pray this month will be better. You can give to our Give a Five, to the Give a Five, or Dollar Sign, the Living Church on Cash App. Amen. Or you can mail it to the church. Or you can drop it off to the church Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Church men, we need your help. It's not the time to stop. It's the time to yeah. start. Amen. So we pray that you ask God to lead and guide you on what you should be giving to your church and be supported to your church. Amen. 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 Ain't nobody mad but the devil. Oh, yeah. Amen. Give us some music on out of here. This is Cheryl. God bless you.